pregame show, we're joined now by head coach Ed Hoddle. Uh, coach, last week those first 48 minutes were probably the most complete 48 minutes uh, of the season. How do you get back to those first 48 this week and not the last 12? Well, you know, you try to focus on the positives, and, you know, the things that we did well in the first half, and we did a lot of things really, really well. You know, like you said, I think that's a great way to describe it as a complete um, 48 minutes. And I, you know, I think it was, you really get down to it. It was a, it was a pretty good 52, 53 minutes. Um, you know, but that's kind of been our focus this week, and, and it was a lot of our focus last week is, is playing 60 full minutes of, of quality football. So, um, you know, we're capable of doing it. It's just a matter of, uh, of learning how to finish and, and close out ball games. Uh, one of those guys who's been playing really well the last two weeks, Marcus Holly, the junior running back, back-to-back 100-yard -back games. He had a career-high 168 last week at Wilkes with two touchdowns. Uh, what's been the key for Marcus uh, the last couple of weeks? Uh, you know, Marcus has always been capable of doing that. You know, Marcus had some ball security issues earlier in the year. and uh, What we kind of discovered is Marcus is in a pretty heavy brace uh, coming off of a, uh, of a shoulder issue from last season. Um, and we made some modifications to the brace, and he's able to feel the ball against his side a little bit cleaner. Um, and, and obviously we've emphasized that in practice. So um, you know, Marcus has always been capable of doing that. He's just you know, had some injury problems early in his career, and he's been able to overcome those as we've moved into the, the second half of the season. Uh, looking at the tape of the first career start of Zach Jefferson, how do you feel he played? Um, he played great. You know, he, Zach's done all the things we've asked him to do. You know, he hangs in the pocket. Um, you know, he hangs in the pocket a little too long sometimes, but that's a good thing. Um, you know, we've expanded again his role this week as he's become more comfortable. Um, but you know, as far as what Zach's been able to do, uh, you know, coming off the bench two weeks ago and then starting last week has been quite remarkable. You mentioned kind of hanging in the pocket. Was possibly one of the things you were hoping for is he'd be able to use his legs uh, when when nothing's there and run. He didn't really run a lot last week. No, but that's that's a sign of maturity. You know, that's a guy that's been on a program for three years and a guy that understands. You know, you, you're going to get pressure. You're going to get things in your face and. And you've got to be able to stand in there, and um, you know that—that's to his credit. You know, that, that's a sign of a mature quarterback, and um, you know it's hard to believe we're talking about a mature quarterback a game and a half into his actual playing career. But you know what he's been able to do has been, been, been pretty solid. How is John's torso? Uh, he's getting better. He, he's getting better. I think he's still you know a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you know that's just it's just going to be one of those things that, that he's just got to continue to get rehab and continue to take care of it. Well, speaking of quarterbacks, uh, Misericordia sophomore quarterback Jeff Bucket. He kind of presents a whole different set of problems. He's the leading rusher in the MAC. Uh, how do you prepare for this Cougar offense? Yeah, he's tough. He's a good football player. He's a tough kid. Runs well. Uh, doesn't turn the ball over. Um, you know, some of the things they do cause problems. Um, you know, the the read zone stuff that they do, and it, it's not even really read zone. What they've done is they've actually incorporated some option concepts into it, which makes it even more of a challenge. You know, not only do you have to worry about the, the zone on the front side, but you've got some unblocked three techniques um, where they're going to run what's called a midline. So that's a it's a challenging offense to defend. You know, we've definitely got our hands full, and he's a he's a tough kid and a good football player. Is this really the only offense like that that you guys are going to see all year? Yeah, this is it. You know, this is a, a one and done, and you know it does require some extra discipline. It does require. Uh, some extra focus defensively, and you know we know that we know they're going to move the ball a little bit. It's just a matter of uh, keeping them out of the end zone. In preparing for Missouri Accordia, they're a team that you know they're looking for the first program win in two years. Is it a little challenging in that they they might go for it on fourth down, they might fake punts, mm -hmm. you know they might do anything because they're scrapping to get that first win. Absolutely. Is, Absolutely, is that possible that they could just do anything at any time? And we've talked about that all week. You know, it, it's a team that's got nothing to lose. You know, and, and that's a dangerous, dangerous thing to have to face on a Saturday afternoon is a team that's got nothing to lose. And you know, they they look at us as a, as a good measuring stick. You know, we're a year ahead of them in the process and. You know, the, their senses, and I have to believe that they're going to come in here with the expectation that, okay, well, this is our chance to really measure our progress against uh, against Stevenson. So I, I would anticipate seeing some things that are a little bit out of the ordinary. Well, Coach, somebody's putting a end to a losing streak today. Hopefully it'll be the guys in green. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you after the game, Coach. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go over our starting lineups and our keys to the game. After this, this is the Mustangs All-Access pregame show powered by sfmsports.net.